Yo, it's me, Chris. You guys see today? I'm wearing this beautiful cinnamon roll hat. Yeah. Look at this guy. Hey, it's me, Chris, aka Killing Bears, aka Well, built different, aka Chubby Random Self, the flesh of the guy your mom is always talking about. Today, we're gonna do something that's considered the hardest task on this planet. Please let him know what it is. We're watching a movie. But what movie are we watching, though? We're gonna be watching Silence of the Lambs! Oh! I've already seen this film. It was actually one of the first films I did on the channel by myself. And Curtis and I have watched so many movies. We're almost at 500, guys. Think of that. We're almost at, We're almost at 500 movies. Oh, my God. And in a lot of these films, oh. they've referenced Silence of the Lambs. And every yeah. reference, especially, uh, I think it was Clerks 2, was the recent one that I can remember yeah. and yeah. you're like oh science of the lambs i'm like huh yeah, dude there's so many movies we have watched and every science of the lambs reference has gone over curtis's head I've never it's, seen it dude I'm just... and it's just it's time that we finally get this over with and done and we watch science of the lambs together i'm i'm more than happy i haven't re-watched this film since i first did it on the channel oh, wow. so I, i'm very excited to watch it again with a different perspective and a better understanding and stuff mm -hmm. and going into it again I'm seeing you watch it again. There's one specific scene I'm gonna let spoil you on. I'm not gonna mention it, but there's one scene I laughed at that a, a few people got very upset at me for. Oh no, then I'm gonna laugh at it. Too. You're gonna laugh at it too. I'm. People are gonna get upset. So this is the litmus test of whether I'm a pure asshole or it was actually funny. Oh cool. So I'm excited. If you don't laugh, I'm gonna feel kind of bad. All right, that's fine. That's fine. All yeah. right, all right, all right. But you know who always laughs? The people on the page show. They're individuals who are always laughing, always having a great time. They're wonderful <laughs> and beautiful people. Yeah, something like that. And then we have those of you who are subscribed to the channel. You guys are also beautiful individuals. I love you so much. You're great people and you deserve everything in life. True. But then we have those of you who are not subscribed to the channel. Now, I think this is a uh, genetic defect, personally, in the brain. Uh, you're poor at decision-making skills. You Ew. should have been subscribed already. The fact that you're not subscribed is uh, kind of wild. You should be subscribed right now. If not, you need to get yourself checked out. Go find your nearest doctor and ask him, am I a loser? Doctor, I need to know, am I a loser? You need to find out ASAP. But hey, you don't have to be a loser. Fortunately for you, you might not even need to go to a doctor. There is a cure. Right now, you can subscribe to the Octocool channel at this very moment, and you'll be cured of your loser status. That kind of like brain kind of like dysfunction you got going on there, fixed. Your brain will make wrinkles. It will not be as smooth anymore. You can't be cured. You can't be cured. So, uh, Silence of the Lambs. Woo! All right, I'm ready for a feel-good movie. <laughs> it's not this movie. No? You think Silence of the Lambs is supposed to feel good? I thought it was about a, a lamb who's mute, and he learns how to kind of, like, you know, integrate with his lamb society while being a mute lamb. No? Wrong movie, then, I guess. Oh, yeah, that would be animated. Hm. Yeah, just watch the movie. Shut up. Got it. Oh, that's weird. They have a little rope thing here? Well, I had to help climb up. It's steep as hell, dude. Yeah, I guess so. I've never seen places like that. Is it like a, a hiking trail? Oh, okay. FBI Academy got it. <laughs> Maybe it's like a training like uh, course for them? Yeah, th wouldn't that be cool if you just had a place like that? Oh, that would be so sick. Kind of like a training hiking area? Yeah. Very cool. The music's super cool, too. Howard Shore! Yeah, that's why the music's good. Wow. Yeah. Why it makes so much sense. Mm -hmm. Holy shit. Skinning murders. Holy shit. Storyline. Whoa. He looks like a Bond villain. Oh my god. Do not deviate from him for any reason whatsoever. Oh, and so this guy's like way too smart. Oh well, yeah. So it's so rare to capture one alive. So are they using Hannibal to kind of like get into like the mind of a serial killer in order to help with the case of Buffalo Bill? Is that how it is? Like if you could find out he thinks, you could find out what this man thinks? Po yeah, essentially that's what they or do. Or you can get information, oh, whatever. You can kind of find patterns, maybe. But possibly maybe Hannibal would have better ideas of like how this man acts or would act. Yeah. I don't know, dude. Hi, I'm Barney. Hi, Barney. All right. At least he's a little reassuring. Yeah, he's kind of nice. Yeah. Why don't they get glass? I don't know. I guess they're not, like, as serious. Uh, but, I mean, you're in the same area with this asshole. 
I don't know if these guys have eaten people's faces, though. What about him? Yeah, maybe he's he like Spider-Man gone wrong. <laughs> Holy shit. I can see he's a very manipulative person. You use every skin cream. Oh, I don't like that. The skin cream? That's like the freaky superpower. Yeah, right? Smell? Ew. Oh, I didn't like that wink. That was a little weird. A little taste. Good nutrition's giving you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor white trash, are you, Nick? God damn, bro! I ate his liver. With some fava beans. Nice candy. Ah! What was that? I don't know, some snake shit. Is that how you eat liver? I re it's creepy how he's very, like, um, soft-spoken. Yeah. You know? You'd expect someone more manic or, um, aggressive, huh? Mm-mm. Uh, I bit my wrist so I could die. Look at the blood! Oh my god! What? A nut buy? That's what you call it? A nut buy! Bro! Wait, what the f- Yo, I told you, man! There should have been glass on all of these assholes! Yeah, you're right. Oh, even though he is crazy. Go now! Oh my god. Yeah, real- Hey, oh my- I still can't believe that- What? Yeah, that's the scene I laughed at, and, pe and someone got. And people oh, got bro, me. I kind of get it. That's kind of funny. It's bro. so out of nowhere. I didn't think that was, nothing prepared me for that. No, like that was on my bingo card. Like I know it's traumatizing. But wait, as I don't shit. understand. So Hannibal all of a sudden gave her good information as, as soon as she got nut by. Like why? He felt bad. I mean, I would too. Honestly, that's kind of weird. Yeah, but I, I laughed at the ridiculousness of it. Like, you it, don't it, see it coming. No, I don't put attention. <laughs> like it's crazy. Just, Again, it's it's just wild. This is something you, I wouldn't expect to see in a movie. You know, yeah, like like you said, they should all have glass. I, I, I knew it. They're all a bunch of freaks, man. Why do they have glass? They're in there with that freak. But mad props to her, man. You know, a lot of people would not continue their the, the job or the career after something like that. You know, they would they would just be like, I'm yeah. done. Oh, I guess he's That's a psychiatrist, enough. not a psychologist. I don't know, man. What's the okay, difference? Okay, well there you go. For our Baltimore field office. Now they know that you're with me. You call them if anything should happen. Yes, Miss. I'd be terrified going under there. Honestly. No, but that was really smart. Yeah, right. Yeah. Oh, that's not good. Ooh, ooh. Tetanus. Yeah, right. God, you gotta get a shot for that one. Holy shit. Oh, was that the door? Oh. Woo. Why in a jar? Why would you have it in a jar? Well, pre to preserve it. I guess so. I mean, it doesn't look that well preserved. It's it kind of like it's kind of like pickling. Oh, so you pickled the head. Oh, was he having pickled head? <laughs> pickled head. Uh, I don't know. If you didn't kill him, then who did, sir? Who can say? Best thing for him, really. His therapy was going nowhere. <laughs> Damn! <laughs> you think Jack Crawford wants you sex? Sure, he is much older, but do you think he visualizes scenarios, exchanges, fucking... Whoa, whoa, whoa! Bro, I know you just handed her a towel, but you're not that close. It's, it's the sort of thing that Migs would say. Not <laughs> I like that. <laughs> so is he like, um, I, I don't know if I'm like, uh, kind of like, uh, overthinking it. But is he using like his previous, uh, his previous client or his, uh, patient as an example of who Buffalo Bill is or what he's doing? I'm telling you, shit. Oh, sh yeah, because that's what it feels like. It's kind of like a, it's like you just later out like a little breadcrumb, and she's following a trail that will ine inevitably help her, to, like to understand. Oh God, he's hideous looking. Oh, what's it this man? What's it this Darth Vader get up? <laughs> what the hell, Darth Whoa, Vader? Whoa, night vision? Bro has night vision goggles? Yeah. Everyone's got night vision Bro, goggles. Oh, he's gonna splinter sell her ass. What the hell? I really appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, how did you get all the way there. That's great. Okay. Hey, hey, are you about a size 14? Sorry. Ah, <laughs> uh, of course. Yeah. 
Never help strange people at night. No, there's a cutoff. All right, there's a cutoff at night, man. You don't do that shit. Yeah, honestly, there's a cutoff where you should not help people at nighttime, dude. Like, what's the cutoff? Uh, when it's dark. Especially if it's you're by yourself, they're by themselves. Kitty! It's very sad people will abuse people's kindness. It's unfortunate, but I mean, that's how the sickos get them, right? Yeah. Mortem. Okay, three dead. Yeah. Oof. Dumps them, skins them, and dumps them. Each body in a different... After three days. Why? That's specific. Oh, yeah, he took the back. Elk River, West Virginia. That's weird. So he's specifically skinning parts of their body that he wants or finds appealing? That's what it looks like, because he only took her back, and he was like, oh, fuck. Yeah, I was really, really like, oh. Yeah, I, was, I didn't like that. And he literally only took the back, so that, it makes me assume. I still understand. Why does he keep them alive for three days? If I'd sent you in there with an actual agenda, Lecter would have known it instantly. He would have toyed with you, then turned to stone. Mm. Mm. It's just better to leave her in the dark. Oh, that's very coincidental. to leave her in the dark now. Yeah, right? Yeah, wow, that was kind of like a cool, uh... I just have to look away a bit because, like, the motion kind of makes me a bit sick. Oh, does it? Ah, uh, yeah, my motion sickness is so bad lately. Wow. Who's this guy? Okay. All right, so that was, like, your father or something? Yeah, it was the officer in the beginning. Oh, shit, you're right. You know the little girls? That Daddy! Oh, my God, you're right. I thought she was, like, having a flashback or something, but no. So the Possibly. little girl looked at it been, the little girl looked at it could have been her as a child. It was very mm -hmm. weird. Mm -hmm. But wow, okay. Did you know you don't want to go? Bleh! Yeah, that wouldn't be good. Oh, they were used to it. Wow, why did he do a, a reveal like that? Like ta-da! Her ears are pierced three times, and there's a uh, glitter nail polish that looks like tail. Yeah, that's not easy to look at. Oof. Oh! She's got something in her throat. Her body comes out of the water. Lots of times there's like leaves and things. Dude, it must be hard to actually have a job where you have to deal with I this stuff. I cannot imagine that. These guys must be paid a hefty sum to do something like this. Still eight exit wound level with the second or the third thoracic vertebrae. Approximately six inches from the right shoulder blade. Again, man. Imagine people who do that for real, Don. Oh. Yeah, again, tough job. I'm afraid I can't tell you any more about that. We heard about it on the radio. You mean this is like a clue from a real murder case? Cool. Cool! cool. The amusing house wine. Oh. Are you hitting on me, Doc? Yes. <laughs> hey, okay, my, my mind's a straight shooter, nice. For today, I somebody grew this guy. Got him honey and nightshade. Kept him warm. Somebody loved him. So, Buffalo Bill is getting moths from Asia and stuffing it in people's throats. That is a lot of hard work. Pretty much, yeah. Holy shit, man. <clears throat> That's next level. Oh, is this the bu Buffalo Bill? Oh, yeah. Why won't you answer me, please? Huh. Crazy, huh? Very. This is the number for the U.S. Attorney's Office. Please, I think you discuss this with him. Let me do my job. I understand. Yeah! Yeah! Eat shit! Got your ass! You may walk on the beach. You may swim in the ocean for up to one hour. You know, SWAT team surveillance, of course. Pretty sweet deal, actually. Yeah. What is your worst memory of childhood? Oh, Death no. of Tell me about I was right! Just like the one we found in Benjamin Raspail's head an hour ago. Mm. The significance of the moth has changed. Caterpillar into chrysalis, or too far. Okay, so that makes so much sense because you was talking about transformation earlier on in the film. Yeah. So that's why I was thinking the bug uh, signifies. It rubs the lotion on its skin, or else it gets the hose again. It's <laughs> <laughs> real precious to look at the hose. <laughs> is he 
keep mocking her? Holy shit, dude. And shut the door. I really hate this guy, man. Him? Yeah, his haircut, everything about him. He I just... just looks like an asshole, you know? He looks like he thinks he's smart, but he's not, you know? Mm-hmm. Find it. Of course, I worked in a few... Oh, well, he's eyeing that pen. That... Mm, mm, mm. I don't think he has anything he needs to write down. Mm. Feeling about to get him ready to go. Jack, Hannibal Lecter is being transferred. I like how Hannibal never looks dazed. Hot to be caught. Sir, the sign right here will have us a legal transfer. Well, he got the pen? Here, sir, use mine. Mm -mm -mm. God, I hate that. What? Oh, yeah. <sighs> Just the mouth breathing. Though he doesn't really have much of a choice, yeah, actually. He, he's kind of left no choice but the mouth breathe. Well, at least he's on vacation now. It's on vacation. I mean, this is kind of like a vacation. I guess so. It's, it, it, it... New territory, new sceneries, new things. Yeah, at least he's outside. Well, not really. He's still in a building, but... What? Did you breastfeed her? Now, wait a minute. Yes, I did. Toughened your nipples, didn't it? Oh. Hey, what the f... Hey, oh! That's all I can remember, Mark. But if I think of any more, I will let you know. Interesting how he gives information. There's just one more thing. Love your suit. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Ended on a nice compliment. Yeah, that was quite the like uh, roller coaster uh, idea. His method of give and take. Yeah, I really find that interesting. He won't give you anything unless you give him information about yourself. Oh, that's kind of an upgrade. Yeah, at least you get to see art. No glass, though, this time? Yes. But please tell me how. No. Okay, thanks. Ted's time to mm. You don't have any more vacations to sell. Why did you leave that ranch? Ah! The old give and take! You still wake up sometimes, don't you? Wake up in the dark. And hear the screaming of the lamb. Oh, silence of the lamb. Oh my god, that's good! Poor Catherine. You could make them stop, don't you? you Isn't that sick? Clever. Wow, that's really cool. I like that. That's clever. Your case, Mark. Bye, Harry. Oh, did he? Did he write it down? Because he has the pen still. He hasn't killed anybody yet. Yeah, right? Yeah, so he probably... Okay. Ah, okay, I see. Mm, mm. Did you like the whole silent... The, the lamp thing? The screaming lamp? Yeah. That's the why the title of the film? It's so good! Incredible, dude. Oh, That's my like, God. That was like... That gave me chills, man. I was just like, yeah! You know, you feel good. Because you really think, why the hell is the movie I, called I was that? trying to figure out what's the point of that. Mm -hmm. But wow, the title is phenomenal. Whoever came up with the title of the film? Wow. Or is the book called Silence of the Lambs? I don't even I know. I believe so. Okay, either way, it's very well. Whoever had the idea, they're brilliant. It's well thought out. It's extremely well thought out. Wow. Oh. Okay. Oh, a little bit of charcoal. Oh, with a lamb, too. That's cute. Good evening, Jenny. Okay, Doc. Grab some flour. Same drill as before, please. Mm hmm. Oh, no. Hand me that, please. Hmm. Ah. I gotta give him a little bit of salt and pepper as well. Yeah, for taste, you know. You know. That's kind of cool. Oh. Jimmy, watch it. He's got oh. Oh shit. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. What? Wow! I think what, what makes him so shit? terrifying is how calm he is. Yeah, like, again, nothing phases him. No. It's just a matter of fact, another day. Yeah. Instead of a vest, you should put on a helmet. <laughs> oh, shit, man, bro. Oh, God. Holy shit! Mm hmm. Clear. What a way to leave your mark, huh? Yeah, wow. You look real good. 
Yeah, imagine that. You look real good. Bro looks bro like got, shit. Bro got his face bitten. Yeah, these guys are a little too excited. Like, yeah, let's get in there. Yes, sir, Boston. Oh no. Okay, guys. Mm -hmm. There's no way he's there. He's not that stupid. Oh. Good shot. Your old male police officer with severe facial lacerations. Weapon. Did he lacerate his own face? Activity, but he's post dictal now. <laughs> Wait, that's him, right? Good. Pressure is one. Yeah, of course. Oh, wow. And the uh, pulse 84 got him on lactated ringers running, and uh, and the uh, patient is on 10 meters. Whoa! Skin the face. Whoa, oh my god, that's even cooler. Holy shit. They found the ambulance in a parking garage at Memphis Airport. Crew was dead. Dude, that is so much cooler. He literally took Buffalo Bill's uh, way of killing and kind of. Wow! It's just crazy how Hannibal like, literally just figures it out. Like, well, he seems very smart, you know? Yeah. It's not in that, but he is intelligent, but he also doesn't panic. So he's able to think more. Uh, Clearly. Yeah, think clearly, think better. He has, like, no wasted thoughts. Well, I'm Clarice Starling. I'm with the FBI. Cat! Hi, cat. A lot of cats in this movie. This would be so weird for the dad to find. Yeah, those pictures? Yeah. That'd be a little bizarre. Hey, Starling, Starling, we know who he is and where he is. We're on our way right now. Where? Calumet City, edge of Chicago. Mmm. Oh, boy. Ah. Oh. Okay. What? Nothing. Does anything happen to Precious? Precious is really cute, though, huh? Precious is super cute. That's why I don't want anything to happen to Precious. Precious! No. I would not. <laughs> the reference with clerks <laughs> oh my god yeah that 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 this... was the reference wow. yeah my god kind, kind of a wild reference that's right? an insane reference to make holy yeah shit. now that you get it it's kind I of like... Get it. like wow crazy reference of all the things in this film you could have referenced that's it down here you sack of shit <gasps> no not precious no Good hostage. Do you really want to upset someone like that? Not really, no. Like, what else are you gonna do, right? Oh no. Ah! Well, that's one way to describe her. Okay. And Mrs. Lipman had a son, and maybe he could help you. I got, I got his card in here someplace. So if you want to come in, I'll look for it. Was that cool how they shot that? Like, you'd be yeah, that was really well done. Though I had a feeling the uh, the officers were at the wrong place. Yeah. But I didn't think it was like the door was ringing because she was there. Sure, you can use my phone. Freeze! Put your hands over your head and turn around. Spread your legs. Man, that's why sometimes you just shoot first. <laughs> just blast them. So, sometimes, man, there's some scenarios where it's just like, he was very obvious about that. With the laughing, huh? Yeah. It, 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 why would anybody laugh in that kind of scenario? Now, not even that, just even the questions he was asking. Yeah, the questions, the moth, it's just like all signs lead to blast.
Oof. Oh god. Precious! Save Precious! <laughs> Can't imagine how stressful it is. You're in a place where this guy knows everything, and yeah, so you're, you're pretty much in the like. I'm gonna get you out of there, but right now you listen to me. I gotta leave this room. I'll be right back. No, don't you leave me here, you fucking bitch! No! Whoa, 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 whoa! She's trying her best here, lady. <laughs> Moths. This place is huge. Yeah, it doesn't look that big on the outside. No, but wow, the basement's large. <laughs> oh, oh shit! <laughs> He's gone splinter cell. Yeah, splinter cell mode. Just start blasting. I, Bill's just following her. Yeah, right? <sighs> Whoa! <laughs> yeah, I'm on his ass! Swiss cheese! I say double tap. Nah, man, he looks like he's good. Precious! Yay, Precious is saved. Filled with this address. Yeah, that is horribly traumatizing. Congratulations. Would you really want to continue this kind of job? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. But I mean, if you could do that, you could do anything. Yeah. Ernest W. Stevens. W! Look, I just wanted to say congratulations. <sighs> okay, go away. I do wish we could chat longer, but... I'm having an old friend for dinner. <laughs> oh, wow! Mm -mm -mm. Wow! Yep. Wow, oh, my God. Yep. I can't believe I've never seen this before. Holy shit. Yeah. This is such a good movie. Yep. Oh, my God. Yep. Woo! Oh, wow. boy. All right, cool. Cool. All right, yeah. All right, uh, Curtis has just seen uh, Silence of the Lambs for the first time, so uh, boop, boop, you can talk about Dude, it. I I'm still, my mind's blown. The movie was so good. Yeah, I could tell because like, you were so quiet, and I didn't want to say anything because like, I didn't want to accidentally spoil something, so I kept my yeah, mouth no, shut. Yeah, no, I get that, I get that. I really wanted you to but experience it's just, like, it. It's something I really wanted to pay attention to because there's a lot going on in this film. It's like, it's not only just uh, Buffalo Bill, but Hannibal Lecter himself. Yeah. You know, there's so many things you have to pay attention between them, or even like um, Clarice as well. You're, you're you're paying attention to all three of them, and what's pretty much like I'm trying to like, get absorb information from the three of them. Yeah, right. To figure out you, what's happening, what's going on. It feels like a movie that you have to see more than once to truly grasp. Yeah, it's like, well, I mean, it's the type of movie you could see more than once and find ways to enjoy it even more. Yeah, you know, I feel like watching this over and over again, you could find uh, even more like foreshadowing of certain events here and there. Uh, I generally love the uh, the part where Hannibal Lecter ended up making a face mask out of one of the, the security guards to use that to get away. I knew he was not in the elevator. I was like, okay, so I thought he lacerated him, his face to make it unrecognizable. That's what yeah. I thought at first. But no, he and skinned like, the wow. face. And, and I was thinking to myself, like, wow, that's a, like that's some commitment, you know? But no, he skinned the face and wore it as a mask. That was incredible. It's so cool that he took Buffalo Bill's way of killing, or pretty much what he's doing, and utilized it as his own. Yeah, kind of like utilize it in, in, in a way that it would help be beneficial for him. I was like, that was insane. Crazy as shit, huh? Crazy as hell. Even like the way that you get to the point when you, you finally understand why the movie's called Silence of the Lambs. Dude, it's that is, so that good. That is one of the greatest reveals I've ever seen in a film. Yeah. It felt like there was just, there was a lot of, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, I felt like there's just like, God, I'm trying to figure out a word. I'm so sorry, man. I'm just I'm so excited. That's the thing. Yeah, it's okay. Uh, it was a huge. Uh, it was a huge. Um, can't remember the word. Don't really care. But it just like it blew my mind. Like, I literally, I almost got a bit of like a tingle, chills, shit, right? Chills. I was like, whoa. You know, yeah. it was because of the screaming of the lambs, and I also like how even when um, 
Parker Music goes inside Buffalo Bill's home. You know, when she's in, inside of his, his lair. You know, underground. His lair, yeah, yeah, yeah. Underground and stuff. And you just, it's interesting and kind of like how it's uh, almost like uh, a retelling of uh, of her when she was young. You know, the, the woman's in the, in, the, in, the, in the wells crying, the dog's barking. Similar to Lamb's screaming, right? Yeah. And I, yeah. I felt like that. It's kind of cool how everything goes full circle like that. Yeah. You know, and it makes sense. As to That's why. what she kept saying. Shut up, shut up, shut up, you know? Yeah. Not only that, but also because, like, she has to listen to where he is. Exactly. But it's interesting because it's just, like, it, it shows you even more so as to why she became uh, an agent for the FBI. And it's because of that lamb. Essentially, it's like she wants to save lives. Yeah, that's that, that's what she wants to do. Mm -hmm. You know, just because that one incident with the lamb and that started it all. And, and yeah, pretty much. It, it, I also like Hannibal Lecter uh, in the sense where I will not give you information unless you feed me information about yourself. And it has to be stuff that traumatizes the shit out it of you. It has to be personal too. It has to be. So you have to tell me something that nobody knows about you. Yeah, something that you don't want to talk yeah, about. We, we got to get personal, and I need to get to know you on a personal level before I can give you information. That also was very interesting. I kind of like that give and take. Mm -hmm. And it was I thought it was interesting because I thought it was only with Clarice, but it turned out, no, it's with everybody. Yeah, even the mother. Even the mother there. Um, uh, you know, he needed personal information about her. It was very interesting uh, in that way. Um, I, uh, I just, I, th I don't know. The movie overall was just a phenomenal film. Yeah. I feel like I was very quiet through it. And it's just like, it's just such a good movie. You know, you're paying... Yeah, you just you want to, like, it, absorb I'm, it. That, that's the thing. I'm paying attention to the film itself, you know? Yeah. It's the type of film that you want to absorb as much as you can. Yeah, let alone, like, uh, Anthony Hopkins doing so well with Hannibal Lecter. Oh, my Dude, God. Dude, I think that guy who also plays uh, Buffalo Bill is crazy good. Very good. They they, they they really kill it, especially Anthony Hopkins. Oh, my God. Was that... Yeah, that... <laughs> You see that reference before it as well. I see that reference. I can't remember what movie it was that we watched, but I remember yeah. that, that was referenced yeah. before. Yeah, and, uh, there's a lot of references. Buffalo Bill's like, yeah, and he like says it puts the lotion on the on their on their skin. Mm -hmm. Yep, and you could tell us it, it's very fast because like I'm gonna talk about more because you know I've seen it in my second time. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. You but, know, but Buffalo Bill, it's fascinating because like again, like you know how they try to like manipulate the sense that she is a person in that well. Using her name constantly, that when he refers to her, it's always it. Yeah, it puts it up, puts the lotion. Yeah, and not that, but you see, like he felt, he felt very horrible doing what he was doing. Yes, you could see it on his face, like the, the absolutely he's shaking. He's like he's like near crying. He's very emotional about it all, yeah. and he doesn't even want to look at her. Well, more than anything, you can tell like he is completely mentally and emotionally unstable person as a whole. Yeah, and it's like you, it's even referenced throughout the film that you know. He he hates himself so much. Yeah. He doesn't want to be what he is, so he's trying so desperately to become something different. Yeah. You know? Yeah, well, it, 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 it's, it's transformation, in a sense. Essentially why he gravitated towards the moth and the transformation of the moth. Yeah. From, like, uh, you know, from the, the pupa, I think it's called, into yeah. the moth itself. Yeah. You know, because he can relate to the moth. Yeah, he wanted to find his own cocoon he to wanted, just throw himself into and well, re -reverse. Technically, when you think about it, his cellar is a cocoon. No, it's the skin suit he was building. No, but no, but he's no, trying to build his cocoon. No, 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 but the thing is, is that the cocoon is the cellar, and he's creating the transformation within. Yeah, you know, like the whole entire process is happening in his own cocoon kind of thing. You know, and, so, and the skin suit is basically his moth. Yes. he'll come out that's, from there being different now. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, I'll oh, come wow. from the cellar, the cocoon, yeah. as the moth. Yeah, my, with trans, my skin suit. Uh, and I'll be, skin suit, I'll be transformed, kind yeah. of thing. Very interesting, you know. Just an inc incredible premise, and you know, it's just because he hated himself so much, he had to be something different. He yeah. had to be something so widely like unrecognizable, something so not him. It had to be. It's the, unfortunate that the the, the self hatred was that strong. Well, it's like they said, it stems from like childhood abuse and stuff. A lot of serial killers were actually oh, like, yeah abused as children. Well, it's, it's, it's a direct all, correlation. A lot of the majority of serial killers, you just check their uh, their past history in terms of like a. What happened in their childhood and stuff like that? You yeah. can figure out a lot of things from that alone. Because like I watched one of my favorite shows ever that really went into depth. That Mind Hunters. I've not seen it. Oh I, my I, god! I've not seen dude. it, dude. Season two was it was pretty okay, but season one is like ten out of ten. Maybe we should do that. Maybe we should do that, on, dude. If you if you like if you if you like this kind of shit, I Mind Hunters. I is so damn good. I really like this a lot. Mm. Uh, I, would, I would love to do Mind Hunters. I don't know if it'll come to the channel. Maybe it'll just be a Patreon thing, guys. Maybe you can watch it with your girlfriend. It'd be cool. I could do that too. Oh, she's probably already seen it. 
Really? Uh, knowing her, she's probably already seen it. Mind but Hunters it is something oh, it's, that it's I really a fantastic I would love show. to get into. It, it, it seems if it's anything. Like oh, this, bro! If you love this, you'll love Mind Hunters. Because I was—I'm not even kidding you, dude. Time flew by fast. For this yeah, film. right. And you know what the thing is? What I like about this film is that, in terms of, there's not a lot of action. There's not a lot of. That. It's just like a psychological thriller. And it's truly thrilling, yet not much is happening. Mm -hmm. You know? Or exciting. There's no grandiosity of any oh, sorts, you well, know? No, there is. Like, dude, the, the, the well, way he hung up the, 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 the officer yeah, but and that stuff. Was one, that was one... Uh, you get moments of, like, greatness. But, like, a lot yes. of it's, like, it's a oh, lot of thinking, a, a lot of, like... It's a lot of dialogue, a lot of thinking, a lot of that. And I love movies that make you think yeah. throughout the entirety of the film. Was there anything else you noticed in the film that really caught your eye? There's one thing I remember I talked about when I first watched it. Um, anything, um, other than the, the, the nut drive-by, that was that wild, was just, man. Wild. Dude, that's our, I kind of, when I thing. first saw that, I laughed because I was like, no. it's so ridiculous. Who you, would do that? I'm going to be honest with you, you had every right to laugh at that. That took me off. I was genuinely shocked, and I understand why you would laugh. That shit, yeah. it's hilarious in a sense where you don't see that coming. Well, no pun intended. No pun intended, you assholes, all right? But you literally don't see that. Like, that's not on my... It's what? I, like... I didn't think... I'm, wa I'm going to watch Silence of the Lambs, and I'm going to watch a guy do some drive-by nutting. I didn't expect that was happening, dude. That was wild. That was crazy. But well, what did you mention in the first uh, film? Is there something I'm, I'm not... Well, I think to? you obviously noticed it. You just haven't mentioned it. The way all the men looked at her. Well, yeah, they were always like... They, they, was it a... Like, it was fast. Like, every time, like, their eye... Like, they just, like... And you know that you're not even that okay. Oh, ooh, ooh, ooh. there's something I, I noticed many incidents of that when she gets in the elevator, all the men are bigger and taller and staring at her. Yeah, even when she was in that room, bigger, taller, and staring at her. And you know the thing is, it feels very imposing. You feel uncomfortable for her. Yeah, no, but like, it make, but that's the thing that, that I felt was really great. Is it, 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 it kind of gives you a uh, that it makes you feel like, it, like you know, of course, male dominated like career, yeah, but it almost puts you in her foot and, like, in, in her, her shoes. shoes. Yeah, you, you it feel was so cool, you that feel they did so that. uncomfortable the way just men look at her. Yeah, like constantly throughout the entire movie, and it's something like I felt it. Like God, I and, and the more you see it happen, like God, I don't yeah, like. Yeah, but this. I like. But the thing is, what, what's so great about like whoever directed this and stuff like that is how they present it on camera, where you can almost feel the uncomfortability for yourself. Yeah, like you know, as a man, I'm able to put myself in her shoes and kind of get it. And, yeah, you you go like, oh, that does seem very uncomfortable, you know, and you start to feel uncomfortable for her as well. Yeah. Very good, mm -hmm. very good. That was that was incredible. That was my favorite things. One of my favorite things with the film is just giving you that perspective it's, and, it's, and yeah. translating it so perfectly where you feel it like We're yourself. Translating in a way where you are able to feel it. That, yeah. That's incredible. I, again, I can understand why a lot of people talk about Silence of the Lambs being a masterpiece. It genuinely is. Mm -hmm. It's genuinely such a good film. Uh, I would love to watch more films like this. Yeah. That that was like. I oof. I I think there's a sequel to it. Is it is it good though? I don't know. I never watched it. Oh, okay. I think it has oh. Edward Norton. Edward Norton. Oh, really? Yeah, Fight Club. The yeah, yeah, I know. I'm an Incredible Hulk. He's a great actor, point. so it probably yeah, is. Yeah, well, I think some people asked me to watch it, but I never got to it. Well, that might be something worth doing. Uh, I, mm. I'm not sure how good it is either. I don't know. Oh, if but, anybody in the comments down below, let us know how it... Uh, yeah, how it is about... How Hannibal is. Uh, what's it called? The Hannibal 2? Hannibal the lec the lectering? The lectering? Yeah, the lectering. Uh, <laughs> what's it called? Hannibal the lectering? Yeah, like... Oh, Hannibal 2, Electric Boogaloo? <laughs> yeah, maybe. You never know, <laughs> man. You never know. Oh, but yeah, let us know what it's... Uh, what uh, Silence of the Lamb 2 doesn't sound good. It would no. have to be something else. It had to be a That's totally That's why I'm assuming title. it's like Hannibal I think, I'm pretty sure... Oh. I'm pretty sure it has a... Electinator. No, I'm pretty sure it has a totally different title. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I can't remember right now. Like, I'm sorry, but I, I just don't remember. Okay, whatever, guys. Uh, solid film. I thoroughly enjoy this film. Yep. Uh, I would like to see more like this, so expect to see more like this uh, movie. Yep. Uh, so we're going to see you guys in the next one. We're going to peace on out like uh, Buffalo Bill himself did. Yep. Uh, <laughs> stand there in our night vision goggles. Oh, yeah. Splinter Cell. Bye. Bye.